Now this is one of my favorite entrees. Now it is a little bit more of a restaurant dish, but you can adapt it and do it quite easily at home. Now first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make an avocado mousse with a little bit of wasabi. Nice ripe avocado, just gonna cut it in half. Be very careful doing this. Just twist it, take the seed out, a little chop into it, pull it out, peel the avocado. Avocado into a little mixer. Got a little bit of wasabi powder here. You can use fresh wasabi. The powder is a little bit stronger. What we've got here is a little bit of sugar syrup. Sugar syrup will give it that beautiful sweetness and it'll balance with that heat of the wasabi. And just puree. Right, once you've actually pureed it, just taste it. Now you get that real sweetness of the sugar syrup and you can taste the wasabi, but with the, the sugar content, you actually want to add a little bit of acidity to it just to combat it. So the best thing is a nice fresh lime. And just put a little bit of lime juice into it. Absolutely perfect. We'll just let that sit there. The next step is a beautiful dressing. It's a daikon dressing. It's very typical of a Japanese dressing. It's got beautiful balance. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is to add all our liquids. We've got a little bit of soy. It's actually a light soy. You don't want it too rich. Just into a bowl. A little bit of mirin. Mirin's got a little bit of sweetness to it, so it gives it great balance also. Now the vinegar, rice wine vinegar. Always really important to use rice wine vinegar. It's typical in Japanese cooking. So we just add that to the base, and we're gonna be really careful and add just a little bit of sesame oil. Sesame is really, really strong, so you don't wanna to add too much. So just a couple of drops. Now to give the dressing a little bit of body, we've got a little bit of ginger. Rather than uh, and chop it really fine, we've just got a nice microplane here. I'm just gonna grate a little bit of ginger into it. And we're gonna add some daikon, which is basically a Chinese radish. Same thing again with the microplane. What's really important now with this dressing is to actually let it infuse. So just let it sit as long as you possibly can until you need it. Right, the next thing to do is the salad. A little bit of daikon, very carefully. Nice, thin slithers. A really important thing to do is when you're chopping or you're julienning is to make sure you keep those fingers out of the way. So I'm going to rest the knife up against my knuckles and I'm just gonna slowly chop. And if you keep your fingers nice and curled, you don't have your fingernails out and you won't chop them off. Right, there we have some nice little battens. Now with our cucumber, we're gonna do two things with it. We're gonna do little strips or ribbons. We're gonna wrap it around so we can put our ocean trout row on top of it. And the other ones, we're going to actually julienne it. So just peel to get our strips. We're just going to use a peeler. We're going to try and dig into it a little bit harder than what we normally would. We're just going to peel it. What you've got is a long strip like that. And if we just wrap it around, like so, it's like a little casing. Now for our julienne. About the same size as the daikon. julienne strips. Put that into your bowl. And you can see that now. You've got a nice little salad of daikon and cucumber. We're going to add our little mushrooms, enoki mushrooms, and just fold it through. Now it's really, really important to have good quality tuna. You want that beautiful bright red colour. You want it to be in nice little cubes, like little bite-sized pieces. So we're just going to be really careful here and just cut straight down We've got a nice chunk. I'm just going to even that up. So some nice little cubes. You can see they're nice little bite-sized pieces. Now, to put this dish together. We've got our beautiful little salad. I'm just going to put a little bit of baby coriander in it also. 
Now you want to put the baby coriander right at the end, you don't want to put it in when you're actually making the salad in the beginning because you want it to look nice and fresh and you don't want it to go limp at all. So we're just going to sprinkle it over, nice little bit of salad on the plate. Now we're going to grab our tuna and very carefully just going to place it on top. Now with our cucumber, we're just going to place it on top. We've got our little avocado and wasabi mousse. We're just going to pour that into the top. Really want to just try and keep that shape. Now we've got some beautiful salmon pearls. We're just going to pour that on top. Really go overboard and really heap it on. Now we're just going to dress our tuna. You can see the little bits of daikon on it. And that's what you want, you want that texture. We'll just pull that all over the top. Believe it or not, fresh wasabi's in season. We're just gonna put the smallest amount, just grate it over the top. That's just gonna add to the dish. And there you have it guys, our beautiful sashimi of tuna with a daikon and cucumber salad.